Good evening and welcome to your next video in the Chapter 11 series on gases. Tonight we are going to start introducing the gas laws. So what are the gas laws? The gas laws are mathematical relationships between volume, temperature, pressure, and the amount of gas. So each of those four measurable quantities that we started talking about last video. Last video we focused on pressure. Today we're going to look at how they're all related. So we are going to start with Boyle's Law. And Boyle's Law is going to look at the relationship between pressure and volume. So P for pressure, V for volume. And what we find is that when we multiply pressure by volume, we get a constant K. Now I want you to think way back to like chapter 1 or chapter 2. When we looked in this chapter, we talked about the relationship between two variables. In this case, we are multiplying two variables and we're getting a constant. When two variables are multiplied, we find that they are inversely related to each other. What that means is as pressure goes up, volume goes down. So if we change one, we end up changing the other in the opposite, and our constant remains the same. So we're going to put together an equation that's going to help us see exactly how that works. So what we can do is we can take P1 and V1. These are going to be our original conditions. So what do we know about the gas before we start changing anything? What is its pressure? What is its volume? This is then is going to be how we change it. So these will be the changed conditions. Well, we can't change both because then it's going to be too hard to really see what's going on. So we're either going to change pressure or we're going to change the volume. And then we can just plug numbers into this equation and see what happens to the other. And then you can check yourself because you know if one went up, the other one needs to go down. So these are going to be plug and chug type questions. I'm going to give you numbers, plug them into the right letters, and then uh, calculate them on your calculator. The hardest part is going to be remembering all the different laws. Then let's look at Charles Law. So the Charles Law is the second law, or the second gas law we're looking at. This is going to relate to different measurable quantities, and we're going to look at volume and temperature. This time you can see that we are dividing them. And if these two are divided, they are going to have a direct relationship. They're going to be directly proportional. That means as the volume goes up, temperature should also be going up. And that's because when they're divided, they again have K, which is our constant. So once again, we can set up another problem or another equation that relates the two of them. Looks very similar to our Boyle's Law, except we have different variables and they're divided. So ones again being our original, twos being our changed conditions. Now the difference with this is there's a little bit of extra math you're going to have to do when it comes to temperature. We do not work in degrees Celsius. So what are we going to do with temperature? Well, temperature in any equation as we get into the gas laws is going to be in a new unit called Kelvin. So Kelvin is just a way of really getting rid of the negatives, if you like. Gives us more of a constant from zero to whatever temperature we want to look at, not having to lose negatives along the way. So if you've ever done math problems, you know those negative signs, they get lost. Did I erase that? Is that a smudge on the paper? Well, we're going to get rid of all of that. So we're going to work in Kelvin temps. So Kelvin temps is basically 273 plus whatever your degrees Celsius is. So we are going to give you temperatures in degrees Celsius because that's what our thermometers would measure. 
And all you have to do is add 273 then to get the Kelvin temp. And why 273? Well, it's based on absolute zero, where zero Kelvin would be negative 273 degrees Celsius. The last law we're going to look at tonight is Gay-Lussac's law. In Gay-Lussac's law, we're going to look at pressure and temperature. So we've looked at three measurable quantities, pressure, temperature, and volume. We'll get to the last one in our next video. So pressure and temperature, again, very similar to volume and temperature. So again, if these two are divided, these are direct relationships, which means as one goes up, the other one will do the same. So I'm guessing by now you can figure out what the second equation is going to look like. And again, we have temperature on the bottom, so don't forget it needs to change to Kelvin. These questions or these equations will not work if you do them in degrees Celsius.